Hello, everybody. I recently reported all on the uh, effects I had of uh, certain NVIDIA settings here to lock my frame rate at 50%, and it was a big hit. People loved it, and it worked great for many, many people, but I feel like a caution has to be added. I, I, after I did that 50% thing down here um, and some other tweaks, mostly having to do with uh, NVIDIA app stuff, which I use uh, Island Sim Pilot's recommendations, which are fabulous, so everything he says is correct. When I go to Flight Sim 24, I had thought that I had gotten a lot of screen tearing and such uh, due to DLSS settings, frame gen latest. Well, anyway, I recently watched a video of his that showed how to completely eliminate screen tearing and everything. It's one of his latest videos. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I just followed everything he said as a T. So in some ways, I'm just saying that I follow what he did and upgraded many, many things on my end, including cash how to do it by using safe mode and stuff like that. And and now I'm not getting a week full of screen tears like I did before. I had screen tearing and shuffling effects, which are terrible. And a, and what I thought was a cooling a cooler GPU. And maybe it does. I, I I'm not saying my advice was wrong, but for me I'm back to unlimited frame rate hundred percent because I had too much jittering, screen tearing and everything, but in twenty twenty that didn't happen. So now my favorite settings, at least on a laptop 4090, are back to what I, I had to put everything back to original, which I originally liked, 100%. No frame rate lock. When I locked the frame rate, I read some sophisticated gaming forum that, in fact, that can tax your system even more, I guess, because it's doing something to lock it that unlocked doesn't do. Unlocked may indeed keep refresh rates better and checked, or at least performing better, and stop screen tearing. So I've done this now. I just flew for a few hours on 2020 and it's smooth as glass with no issues. I still run in TAA, which I've gone to the highest setting. And global rending I had on default, but after, again, watching some videos, probably Island Sim Pilot, I did something he, he said to do, which is kill displacement mapping in case you get any stutters on landing. Well, lo and behold, that kind of works, I guess, psychologically. I don't know. I haven't had any lately. And um, I'm back to objects detail to 130 and uh, my terrain level of detail to 130. And that's it. Everything else stays the same. Everything else is default. So what can I say? The I don't want to say the tweaking continues because this works so good now. I'm really happy with it. I think this might be the end of my tweaking and something I have to lock into. But I just wanted to share that. Anyone gets any screen tearing, try this back at 100%. Refresh. Oh, an NVIDIA control panel, just so I'm on the right subject here, I'll throw that on. NVIDIA control panel settings that seem to work. I took a little bit from Island Sim Pilot as well, so I'll certainly give him credit for this. On the default settings, which I link Flight Sim now, everything is linked to default. So Flight Sim 24 back to default. Global settings, the only changes I've done, they certainly haven't hurt, so maybe they're helping my situation is putting the vertical sync to fast. There's a lot of blah, blah down here. You can read about it. Vertical sync to fast and refresh rate to, to highest available and prefer maximum performance. So that's it. Everything's working good from here. I'm, I'm glad about that. So uh, hopefully if anyone has any screen tearing, maybe it will help you as well. I'm sitting here in New Mexico in the Lear 35 and smooth as silk after a few hours of flying. So, without jinxing it, knocking on wood, it's still great. Alright, take care. Bye-bye. Subscribe and enjoy and talk soon.